The Exchange Best Practices Analyzer will monitor and troubleshoot your Exchange configuration by analyzing your servers and Active Directory environment and looking to see if best practices are being followed. The tool has many purposes and we'll discuss them in a future clip, but for now we want to look at the readiness check. The readiness check will report back to you and let you know if something is not configured properly for Exchange 2007 to be deployed within your Exchange 2000 or 2003 environment. For example, it checks to ensure that the Schema Master is Windows 2003 server with SP1 or later. It checks to make sure that Active Directory domains are not in mixed mode but are in native mode. And it checks to make sure the Global Catalog servers are also running Windows Server 2003 Service Pack 1 or later. So let's take a look at how this works. Here we are on a server. First, let's open up the Best Practices Analyzer tool. It will check for updates first, which you can cancel, but it's a good idea to let it finished so you're guaranteed to have the latest version of the tool. It looks like there are some updates, so we'll download the latest updates. Now we can choose to see a scan we've done in the past, or we can start a new scan. In this case, let's start a new one. At least one Active Directory server has to be indicated. It will use the account you are logged in with to connect to Active Directory. So if you want to use a different one, you can choose Show Advanced Login Options and then make some changes to that. Here we see our settings. We want to start by entering an identifying label for the scan. Then we scroll down to the section Select the type of scan to perform. And you can see that this tool can be useful for other tests later on and throughout the lifetime of your exchange organization. However, it's this last option you want to select, the Exchange 2007 Readiness Check. Once scanning completes, you'll be offered the option to view a report of this best practices scan. The report is easy to read with a tab for critical issues, that's issues that will prevent the installation from going forward, and then there's all issues which include both warning and informational items, and then there's a tab for informational items. So here we see the Active Directory schema needs to be upgraded, which is something we haven't done yet, and we can see that the domain is not in native mode. Now you might recall in a previous clip we put our Exchange organization in native mode once we made sure all of our Exchange 5.5 servers were removed. But this is another step in the installation process for Exchange 2007 that we need to perform. So let's do that now. We open Active Directory Users and Computers. We right click our domain and choose Raise Domain Functional Level. We see that we're in mixed mode and native is already in the box so all we have to do is click raise. We could raise it all the way to a 2003 domain function level if we have no servers running 2000 in the mix, but it's not necessary at this time. We're given a warning, we click OK and now our domain level is correct. We can go forward with our installation. But wait, the best practices analyzer reminded us that we don't have the change to the Active Directory schema that we need. We'll make those changes in the next clip, but clearly you can see how the Best Practices Analyzer is an excellent tool for us to be able to determine if our organization is ready for us to install Exchange 2007. And it's especially useful if we're in the middle of trying to transition to Exchange 2007.